Childhood obesity is a big problem in this country, impacting one in six children and adolescents. The Scantic Valley YMCA in Wilbraham is offering a new program called Family Fit to help parents and kids learn about making healthy choices in diet and exercise. Carolee McGrath spoke with membership director Wayne Wendika and Scott Berg, president and CEO of the YMCA of the Greater Springfield region, to get the story. We're very excited to be offering this uh, new program, uh, introducing it to our YMCA called Y Family Fit. And essentially what we're doing is we're working with local doctors and hospitals to bring in families to participate in healthy lifestyles. So what we're focusing on is getting kids in with their families to participate in healthy practices as well as nutritional advice. So we want to show kids that exercise can be fun so that they're not just doing video games or they're not just sitting at home. We want them to be engaged with their family and we feel like having them here at the YMCA in a family environment is going to be beneficial for them. So I think the interesting thing is that you're working with doctors in the area and nutritionists and, and something that I've heard a lot from doctors is the growing obesity problem and kids, more and more kids becoming at risk to being obese um, at some point. So that's a really neat thing to introduce here. Is that something that's important to you to make sure that families, you know, are getting that exercise and, and quality time, I guess, as well? Yeah, you know, the YMCA, it's collectively, it's, uh, we, we have three program thrusts. Uh, we do youth development, we do healthy living, and we do social responsibility. And Ryan and I were just talking, it's, it's really unique to have a program that fits all three so well. So that's really where our focus is. We want to make sure the family's together, we want to make sure it's fun, we want to make sure it's healthy, we want the kids to not even know that they're having a great time. Um, and why, just you know, to share with our YMCA, we're the fourth oldest YMCA in the world. So we've been around for a long time, and the Ys uh, historically have gone from housing to physical fitness to what people think is gym and swim. And really what we're doing now is we're doing more and more in the medical area, uh, working on diabetes prevention, working on cancer programs, um, and this just fits right into that thrust uh, nationally. And I think one of the things that I remember as a child is walking into the gym, this, this is 100 years ago, walking into like one of those gyms that, that were open and I just being co totally intimidated by the machines and the weights and the people in there. How do you make the kids understand that this doesn't have to be scary and it, it can be fun and you can feel fantastic after 30 minutes on the treadmill? How do you bring them in for that? Well, at the Y, we do pride ourselves on being a very welcoming environment. So we don't ever want kids or, or adults or families to feel like they're they're intimidated about coming to the Y. We're all inclusive and so we we serve a wide range of age groups and and clientele as well. So by bringing them into the Y we want them to have fun and that's the biggest thing is nobody wants to go on a treadmill and run for a half hour that's not fun we want the staff it's, not. it's, <laughs> it's, it's really not, not. so our job here as Y professionals is to make sure that the kids don't see it as exercise but they see it as a way of life and that when they come to the Y it's fun it's not working out it's engagement with our staff and their families and when we picked the name of this program we made sure we added family to that because that's an important piece of, of what we're trying to do with this program. Right, even for parents though, who are like going on, a, you know, a, a new diet or uh, some sort of an exercise kick, and then they go home and there's, you know, cookies and everything and maybe the spouse is not supporting them. It can be really hard and it can certainly derail any good intentions that you might have. And I would assume the same goes for children as well. They're trying to do well, but you know, mom's pulling out the bag of potato chips, not that I've ever done that, but it can be hard. Absolutely. And that's what's nice about the program, that the children are receiving the activity, parents are receiving the education at the same time. A lot of times, you know, as families, you end up dropping off your children, running around and doing errands. Right. This one, you're actually engaged, learning at the same time. Uh, the other major part of the why that's, all, that's, that's wonderful is that it's open to everybody regardless of ability to pay in full. So it doesn't mean you have to pay. If you can't afford it, we're here for you. We have scholarships. Last year, we gave away $754,000 in financial aid. So that's, that's what we pride ourselves, being a, a not-for-profit. We want to be able to reflect and serve the community. It's open to everybody. So for that um, child uh, who might be dealing with a, a 
weight problem, um, who might not be athletic. How do you encourage that kid that, hey, it doesn't matter what your ability is, but when you leave here after 30 minutes, you're going to feel better about yourself and you're going to feel better about um, your outlook in general. How do you reach out to those kids? Well, I think it's just about having staff who understand that, you know, no two people are the same. So uh, I think at the Y, we do a really good job of relationship building, and that, that is kind of the core of what the Y does, is we build relationships with not only adults, but kids, um, is to have that relationship with the kid and really connect and understand what it is that they're looking for. And maybe they don't know yet, but our job as staff is to get them moving. Right, because not everybody's going to be an athlete. And I know you're a coach, and I know you've coached baseball and, and many other sports. Not every kid is going to click with the sport. And sometimes they feel sort of left out of the game, right? It's about doing the best you can. And it's about feeling inclusive. You know, the, the why is special because our whole goal is to build community inside our YMCA. And so people can choose to work out anywhere. But they come hopefully back to the Y because they walk in and they see friendly staff. They see people that they see every day. And, and the same thing with the kids. They want to be able to come here, feel like they have a, a spot that they fit in, and that the, you know if they don't. If there's no cuts at the Y, so that's the best way to put it. That we find a place for everybody, and the kids will leave here feeling better about themselves. All right, Scott and Ryan, thank you so much for uh, telling us about this program. And I can't wait to do 30 minutes on the treadmill. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> I'm excited <laughs> about you. that. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much.